Oh, oh gosh. Geez. There's a dead thing in here somewhere. I get that you're living here, right? But this is not your house, right? This is my house. No, nah, man, I'm gonna be paying, no. man. You guys can't no. be here, man. Th but you understand? I don't know what the shit is. No, you, you understand? This is actually my house, bro. And, and you're not actually paying no, for it. You can't be coming up so, here. So, oh, yeah, what's up, man? I don't know. I thought I gave it to her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. But I appreciate you so much. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, no, no problem. Trash freaking away. Like for every investor that works with us, uh, for us to help them buy properties, we also have investors who reach out to us who they already have properties and it's not working for them and they want us to take over the investment for them to stabilize them uh, or just sell the investment because they're done. You seem to be... Jeez, God, Ooh, God. I, Okay, whoa, bro. Whoa. Dude, dude, calm. Okay, I... Why the fuck are you still hey, filming whoa, me? Whoa. Will you wait until the end to change the locks? Yeah, and I can't be in your way while they're... Yeah, true. Stuff. Yeah, so I'm kind of in the way too. He loved the youth ball play. To to, he said he wasn't waiting. Here, hold on. Hello? Oh, fuck it. Yeah. Here. Let's see if I can pull it over. Yeah. I don't have to hold it. Here. Pull it over so you put them in there real quick or something. Or... What? I'm not. How am I going to move shit and hold the baby? Is that right Yeah, they're about to hit that truck. The car. Stop. 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 <laughs> I just need them to go make these construction bags. Nobody wants to do shit. Just frustrated. Very, very much so. It's like you ask people to help and nobody, no, I have 11 kids. Yeah. Why aren't they all here? I mean, it was good enough when you all lay in your head and they have nowhere to fucking go. Uh, excuse me, what's no, there? I've... When you were just laying and not eating food and taking showers, you don't have nowhere to go. And now where are you guys at now? Everybody wants to sit around and watch mom do it? Bullshit, man. Bullshit. Like, <laughs> I'm so fucking pissed. How old's this guy? Oh, oh he's one. Yeah, he was at daycare. Um, I don't usually send my kids to daycare. Um, Thursday, he went to daycare. I didn't send him Friday, didn't send him Monday. Tuesday, I went, you know, I'm a nurse. So they, um, the lady's like, can you check this little baby out? You know, I think she, the mom said she has an yeast infection. I was like, well, the mom breastfeeds, whatever. That's comical. That's normal. But then I seen little bumps on her. I said, no, she has hand for her mouth. Mm -hmm. So not even that next day, I go to take him to daycare because he didn't have nothing, you know, and mom's. I'm like, get documentation, make sure that's what it is. And I looked at him this mor in the morning, I'm like, get the fuck out of here. So I took him to the doctor, and I'm like, he's got a hand for the mouth. Here's your documentation, I'll get the daycare clean and get them the fuck out. You know, point blank period. Sure. That's contagious as hell. Well, only within children. Sure, sure. Because yeah, we're, we're, we can fight the virus off. We yeah, can fight. Strength, stronger immune system. Exactly. That's why I said. So within these, like, I'm like, he's got it on his feet. And I'm like, you know, it's just bullshit. Everybody's like, don't want to deal with them. I'm like, you guys got me fucked up. So we just gonna sit in the truck and in the cars and just watch mom do everything and hold the baby at the same time. Okay, all right. Well, you got you got two hands, right? <laughs> Mom's a miracle. She can fucking do everything, right? I'm like, seriously, let me go do the washer. Anna looks a little fancier than typical.
Look. To our understanding, according to your landlord, you rented a property from her in Pace, Florida for $1,200 a month. And then at one point you stopped paying and she had to proceed with eviction. Is that correct? No, I was late in November because I had a screw up with my bank account. And uh, we talked and she said that I could make it up in December and everything would be fine. And then all of a sudden she started processing eviction paperwork. And uh, she said, well, they'll stop it if you pay all the money on December 1st. Well, I didn't trust her. She was already looking for a real estate agent. She wasn't going to stop that eviction. And so now, I didn't. Okay. Now, when you say she was already looking for a real estate agent, what do you mean by that? Our One of our neighbors is a real estate agent, and she was looking to hire a real estate agent, and I got told. Okay. Hi hire a real estate agent to, to what? I assume you sell the home to or? Sell, to sell the place. You had the ability to pay her the money, but you didn't want to pay it because you were afraid she was going to sell your home? No, she was going to evict us anyway. So I, I felt that she was just going to go ahead with the eviction and not stop it anyways. Because okay. she had made one statement and then went back on it. I, I didn't trust her. And from talking to the real estate uh, company, it didn't sound like they did either. They didn't think that she was going to stop the eviction either. As far as you living in the home, how long did you live in this home? We were there for three years. Okay, and you paid every single month right up until the eviction? Yep. All right, well, so far we're well under, uh, wow. Yeah. Right now we are. Let's see. Let's see what the uh, upward horizon has for us. And, um, yeah. And it was fine. He was working his ass off, paying his bills or whatever, and then he started letting her stay. Yeah, the one time I came by here to post notices for something and they were both here. Yeah. And I thought it was kind of weird, but. Mm -hmm. well, see, she's a minor. She's like 17. Oh, or really? Something. Yeah. That's why the cops can find no information on her. Yeah. They ended up going to her high school and, like, digging up because she had posted all kinds of pictures of guns and all that stuff yeah. on, like, her Instagram and Jesus. shit, and the cops found it. Even kids so, nowadays, man. Yeah, yeah, for real. Yeah, no, I, I hear what you said, bro, but we can't give you any more time, right? So I got this notice. This is an eviction notice. I don't know if you've ever seen one of these before. You, you want to take it? This is an eviction. Yeah. So we need to have the, the full 1100 within the next three days, right? This is me serving you this notice. Hey, man, you can't be showing up here like this, man. I told the guy I'd get him next next Friday. You can't be showing up in my house. I don't know what this dude's doing over here. No, we just do we document everything just in case, you know, shit gets weird, bro. But, hey, like, man. hey, it's all cool, bro. Just, we, we like to document everything. That's what we do. We make sure people know what's going on. But, like, I understand what you're saying, but you got to understand something, brother. Like, I'm just trying to work this out with you. This, I get that you're living here, right? But this is not your house, right? This is my house. No, nah, man, I'm going to be paying, no. man. You guys can't no. be here, man. Th but you understand. I don't know what the shit is. No, you, you understand this is actually my house, bro, and, and you're not actually paying man, you for it. You can't be coming up so, here. So, hey, bro. Just keep it. Bro, 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 bro. Look, look, look. Boom. Dang, that sucker's pretty. Spider crawling up right there. All right, I gotta take a couple more pictures though, so hold on. Yeah, no, 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 you're good. I'm just trying to get out of the weird murder basement. You're not trying to uh, have a seizure? Let's see what the uh, upward horizon has for us. So we're at three. Tree! We're at Trace Leche. Oh man. We're at three mils? Yeah. Where's the is that the switch for upstairs? I don't know, it's creepy. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah. Well, like for every investor that works with us, uh, for us to help them buy properties. We also have investors who reach out to us who they already have properties and it's not working for them and they want us to take over the investment for them to stabilize them uh, or just sell the investment because they're done. 
All right, so here's your utilities. Fully set up with no problems. There's part of the uh, foundation on the ground. Well, good news is it comes with a brand new furnace. Once After you pay for it. it. This is uh, one of the few rooms with windows. Here, there's a jug room. And vinyls. I'm not going in the needle room. Oh, no. Fuck no. There's too many obstacles in here. Yeah. Here you go, internet. There's needles there. As you guys can see, the uh, garage is in great shape. It's ready to go. Moving ready. Get our little house shot and walk up. I'll uh, get some photos. Roll. It's rolling, 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 rolling. I'll come back through and get the other wall. Right, you get like soccer moms from Sacramento, California, and their husband's an engineer, and they've never been to a neighborhood uh, where the houses sell for less than eight hundred thousand dollars, so they have no idea uh, what it's like. They have no idea that you have to tell your maintenance crew, "Hey, don't just stick your hand blindly on top of door jams or in cabinets so you don't get poked with a fucking needle." stairs that would have been sweet. Oh good enough. I don't like this. Yeah, yeah. I don't bend this way. Okay. Uh, oh. I need my head squeeze my bladder. I got proof. Let me kick it off. Uh we can do an outro, I guess. I don't know what should I say for an outro? Uh this place sucks. Now, again, I've seen a whole slew of pictures, and it was probably one of the rougher homes I've ever seen at an eviction. And according to the landlord, she believes you have cost her in the ballpark of $15,000. Now, do you have any intention of paying her back the $15,000 that you cost her? I don't, I don't think I cost her $15,000. There's no way. I would say that's a fairly accurate number based upon the condition the home was left in, the lack of rent, the court costs. Uh, I mean, these are some pretty atrocious photographs that uh, we've seen uh, of both the home, the deck, the yard, the shed, everything. It was pretty destroyed. You guys the chopped that home was, up pretty bad. The deck was rotted when we moved in. It was unsafe. The realty company wouldn't even walk on it. The deck is in. The bathroom is in. The back doors are there. Both back doors are rotted out. That's all on them. That's, we got detailed photos of that stuff when we moved in. Yeah, we do. I understand you have your photos, but what I'm, I'm telling you is a person who's in, in the business as well, from the photographs that I saw, it it, it is a fair estimate that uh, what you did, what, with the items you left in the home, the condition of the home, the holes in the wall, the dirt, the grime, the filth, uh, the, the cars in the backyard, the boat in the backyard. It, it is very fair to say that it is going to cost this, this woman at least $15,000 to fix the things you did to her home. <laughs> Some strong words. It must be flipping. It's my favorite. It's... That's a little bar. It really is.
These walls are a color choice, that's for sure. Yeah. No, I can't do that. But it's listed. So you telling me you're not gonna give me the owner's name? So who are we supposed to pay our rent to next month? Whoever manages the property. I need their information, dumbass. I mean, the bathroom over here. Yeah, I'm gonna take a look for everyone. Record it. Yeah, I'm gonna take a look for everyone. It's too bad. This is. I mean, it's probably a little less, but yeah, for sure. So. Whoa. What Dr. Seuss book is this, dude? If only I could get to it. Watch out. Oh, you didn't have to do that. Go for it. It's not out of the box, I just flip it. Hand, hand, finger, thumb. Never heard of it. Me neither. Alright, well, it's a beautiful nightmare. Damn, stuff, man. Check out some There's a lot of protein there. stuff up here, too. Lots of foam. Yeah. A lot of empty boxes. Yeah, empty boxes. Foam. Sweet leather jacket. Foot joints. This person loved the golf. I don't think it was her. This is a hot plate? That's what there. It's a hot plate, y'all. Hell yeah! Yeah, watch, your, watch your step. Okay. Damn it, Kyle. Now you're good. Whenever he's ready, I'll go down with him to the basement. You know what they say, protect your neck, son. I mean, when they steal from us, yeah. No, 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 you're the abuser. You're over here on my property. You're harassing me. I'm on my property, and, and you're stealing from me. That's why I'm here, remember? Like, my house, you live there, but you're stealing, like, you're stealing. No, you're what? stealing from me. None of this shit works. Then why don't you move out? I'm trying, believe me. Bro. For the last fucking time, don't call me your fucking bro. <coughs> Dude. I'm a woman. I, I get it. I'm literally just trying to reason with you. So we can you're get you off, you're gonna piss me off. So we can get you out of here peacefully and you're not making the situation any worse, bro. This is like literally You're a fucking abuser. Okay. You're a, you you hate women? No. You're a fucking abuser. I don't know what that has to do with anything that me and you have to do with. I don't You know, in fact, you're aggressive and you're scaring this shit. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, but I, you got it. So are you just not going to pay then? We're just not doing this. You just I have to come back w with the, the cops and I have to take I have to take your kids beds and stuff out of the house. Yeah, and... here. I'll have my people talk to your people and then we'll figure it all out. Once my baby daddy's home, we'll go from there. I, I don't think he's coming, but Bye. Okay. All right. So seriously, like I get it. Like you're slamming the door. You're sh you're shutting the door today, right? But like literally after this, you're not gonna have the ability to shut the door. We're gonna come in, so we just work this out. I would fucking take the door with me if you're gonna kick my ass out of here. God, this fucking girl, bro. It's like they purposely move things into the way. So there's that. Are you saying that these people weren't super helpful? Oh shit. This is deep. How does that light turn on? Defeat, now that you have to drill out a lock. With pressure. It's not just like leisure lock drilling. No, this is this is the game. This is game time. Uh you could so Ken just told me they have an hour left on their first one. So God. but it's no tenant. So um, I'm about to crack the door on one. I don't know if they're tenants or not. But you could meet Ken at Memphis to get their first choice ones rolling and then I could come and... Uh, the majority of the evictions you guys see and the majority of the, the really bad stuff that you guys see us dealing with, it's because 
somebody didn't do the right due diligence and, and got in and over their head and had a really hard time managing the investment, running the investment, because it is hard. It is not just free, easy mailbox money. And they contacted us to either help them take over their existing investment and we gotta go in and we gotta clean up the problems that they created, evict the bad motherfuckers, get good motherfuckers in there. Or they're just so over it and they're so done with the stress and the, and the trauma and, and, and just the, the bullshit that they're just like, hey, Holton Wise, this is where we're at, this is our property, this is what's going on, just get rid of it. Like, get it away from our lives. Can't go too much higher because the, <laughs> well, the bad day. The door broke. All right. The door came right off the hinges when I tried to open it. <laughs> This one might need a little bit more work. Yeah, just a little bit. Not, not a whole lot. Yeah, look at all those flies. Like, there is definitely something dead in here. There you go. Looks like Kyle took care of that door for us. Okay. Oh, oh gosh, geez. there's a dead thing in here somewhere. All right, so we're at four truckloads. Yeah. We're so the one for the basement, one for up here, two for the first floor. Holy, Holy macaroons! Vans. <laughs> She's hot, boys. I'm sweating. Yeah, no, it's like it feels good down here right now. Yeah. Turn that light off for them. Doesn't smell good, but yeah, it feels good. Oh man, this room's worse. Well, yeah, because they probably knocked everything down. They did. You want some new loafers? Nah. Come on, man, you look so good in this. I don't think I could get them on. They're a little, uh, a little thin. Oh, you got wide feet? They're fat feet. And also costs we're including in that, of course, is the, the rent you didn't pay her, the money she had to pay the management company and the attorneys to actually evict you folks. It's going to cost her approximately $15,000. I would say that's a fair estimate. Do you plan on paying back any of that? Or if you think it's a lower number, are you working out some type of an agreement with her to pay her a lesser number so you guys can part ways uh, with all debts paid? Uh, I would like to, yeah. Yeah, I don't like I don't like leaving debts or leaving, you know, leaving things the way they are. I don't. What steps have you taken thus far to pay her back the money you owe her? Uh, I haven't taken any steps yet. I'm still trying to get on my feet to figure out what we're going to do. What are you currently doing? Where did you go after that? Uh, we're sleeping at a friend's house right now, and we'll be staying at a hotel here pretty shortly. Now, are, are you working? Yeah, I'm trying to, yeah. I mean, I'm a, I'm a 100% disabled vet, but I'm trying to work where I can. I had to, I had to put school on hold because of all the things that happened last year. And uh, we're, we're just try we're trying to make it. Hey, we can put it together.
For starters, before I start looking around for pictures, this is pamphlet this is for you. And then this is a sheet where you can say that you have received it, print, sign, and date. A shopping cart with some used tires in it. Barely used. And the fence looks great. And the TV. All right. Let's check out the inside. And see what it looks like. Knock, knock, knock. What's up, man? Welcome to my crib, man. Ah, oh, dude, some needles. <laughs> Not by UPS, by like one of those big white trucks. So how do I, and is that a new house? Because we were moving into a new house, so if we waited till we moved, I mean, it's pretty weird. Uh, I can't, they're gonna be like, yeah, okay. Oh, he's got it. That's it, that's just how it's a full and a twin. <laughs> How about that? You got a new vehicle, huh? You're not driving the Ford Escape that's falling apart no more. It's going to be the door further down on the right hand side down there. The steps that have completely collapsed. Yeah. Man, that's the problem. It's cold. It's a little chilly. Sitting in there for too long. There's always a couple of metals. We've been talking to you guys, you, whoever. Not me, no. We've been talking no. to you guys for like three fucking weeks. What I'm trying to tell you is we're not doing that anymore. This is literally... I don't know you. What's your name? James. I'm the owner of Holden Wise. This is literally the last time anyone is ever going to talk to you like you don't know me you don't know him dude. what the fuck is so funny bro <laughs> what the fuck is so funny it's, it's just like you, you seem to be jeez that Ooh, all right that. Uh, okay whoa, bro. whoa dude dude calm okay i why the fuck are you still hey, filming whoa, me whoa don't touch the camera uh, look okay Kristen. all right calm down hey whoa hey okay i get it you are mad I understand. You are you are angry, but like, lip. I'm. I'm. I don't know. It doesn't seem like it, but I'm actually trying to help you right now because again, I'm trying to help you. No, I don't want the the whole eviction thing to transpire because that is gonna suck, especially this is garbage. especially for the Throw kids. Away. We're talking about, but like, if you hit me, like, you can't. <coughs> you can't. You can't hit me. You can't hit the camera, dude. Okay, like I get it, but same thing. Like I'm gonna have to cut this short. We're gonna have to roll, but literally. I have to give you this notice. You have three days. I gotta have the full 950. If I don't have it in the three days, I file with the courts, and then a little bit later, the cops and my movers, they're coming. I won't be there that day. You know what, get the fuck out of here. There's nobody that's gonna be able to argue with you, and, and they're just, they're gonna come in. Bye. They're, they're coming in. All right, dude, come on. Seriously, like, that's not fucking doing anything. Can we just, Fucking resolve this. Dude, what the fuck are you could, still doing? Could here? we just? You're a woman of uh, you. Okay, bro. Could we just? Dude, get the fuck out of here. Dude, could we just fucking resolve this?
Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.